Hello everybody. Myself Subit Pramod Pandey and I am a technical member of Andy's crew team of Smart India Hackathon. Today I will explain our working portal of the central grievance system. Now here as you can see this is the main interface and the main web page of the central grievance system or in other words you can say it is the front page and the most important page of our central grievance system portal. Now here is a nav bar here you have the AICT log button home tab state departments drop down menu login drop down menu about us tab and help and support tab now you can see the AICT tab when I click on it it will redirect me to the main page of that AICT official website where you can easily access anything that you want now I will come back to my page. Now the home button will redirect me to the main page that is exactly what is there for at the first time. Now at the state departments drop down button you can easily access the, all the states websites of educational institutions or in other words you can say the state board websites likewise for example now I have to access the website of Maharashtra board. Now I will simply click on the Maharashtra tab. Then it will redirect me to the Maharashtrian website. Also, I can access the Karnataka website like this. It will take a time. See. Simply like Odisha. The server is little bit slow so it will take time. So in this way we can access any state board website that we want. So now I will now see you to the about us page. In about us page you can see the summary of the centralized grievance system portal and uh, what is the functionality of this you can read here simultaneously and understand the functionality of this website. Uh, now I will show you the login tab. In login tab there is three login tabs that are user login, official login and server login. In user login the user can easily log in through his email id and password and in this dashboard you can see there is also a registration form which can user first register it and then it will get an email id on his registered email account and then it can log in by backing to it by email id and by its created password but now i will not uh, show that one because i have already logged in itself by my dummy id of andy's crew team so that's why I can access the functionality of this website because I have already logged in as a user. But now I will show you the all the website credentials by just my dummy ID. So I have logged in myself as Andy's crew member. So this is the grievance button which will only activate if a user logged in successfully. So I will click on it. Then it will redirect me to the grievance portal interface. Here I can upload my file in the PDF format. Here is no files chosen. So I can uh, upload any file but now I will not upload any file because there is no such a document I have but it can functional very well. And it is the upload button when you choose a file in the PDF format then you can click on the upload button. Similarly, if you have any suggestions, you can create the PDF document and upload it. Likewise, the grievance portal you can. And now the next uh, button is the Paramitra chatbot button, which is a chatbot which can help you about any query or any error you face about operating this website. So I will show you how it works. See click on the chat with us say hello 
it will response hello there can I help you then I will say I have a problem regarding central grievance system then it will say what it is explain me in detail so now I have not any problem so I have just use that text to demonstrate you that how it works and how it give replies fluently so now I will close it by saying okay thanks param mitra at first it doesn't replied because there is a network issue so here you can see it says pleasure I am here around the clock to solve the queries of my users so in this way this chatbot works here this undefined doesn't come because uh, generally there is not the internet issue but today there is a network issue is there so now I will come back to my original interface now I have shown you the user login interface, the navbar interface, the working button interface, the mainframe interface. Now I will show you the main that official interface that will required by the AICT official to manage this website and how they can manage this website very efficiently and very easily. So I will first click on the login drop down button and now I will click on the official login. See here at the official login I have created a super username by username sunny at the rate of 1234 and it has a password which I will not disclose because it is very very crucial. So here you can see that which groups you have to create of the AICT official employees and which users are now successfully logged in and authenticated. I have used two examples to differentiate which user is official and authenticated and which user is a miscellaneous and a malicious one. So here you can see Sunny at the rate of 1234 that is a super user using this website by logged in successfully so here it will show the staffed status it's a green bar it's a green tick bar which shows that this user is authenticated and logged in successfully but at the same time there is another user that is Ravi at the rate of 2022 and here it shows his name Ravi Yadav this user has not been successfully registered or authenticated and tries to get the access of the staff login user interface so here you can say the access is denied and also it shows that this user has tried to breach the security of this website so here you can see that those that those user doesn't get access of this website and also their track record is registered in this list that this user is a miscellaneous and malicious one and tries to get access by unauthorized means so here you can see that this website is hacking proof or any other threat proof that will give a threat to the data of our citizens of our country so in this way you can see that this website is very safe to use and here the data of all the websites are safe and one more thing is that in this website all the data of the state government websites central government websites and also the AICT, NIOS, ICSC board server data websites can be stored their backup data in this website by through a DNS server in that way the data will be safe and easily accessible to the user as well as the server officials because a backup data and backup restore is must 
in the nowadays information warfare because if the dns server is destroyed of our websites then it will be a very very big crisis of data in our country and if there will be a backup and restore server like this portal that where all the websites are linked and their data is stored and manage the traffic of the data then the chaos will be avoided and our country will be in the safe hands that's why this website is must and a major requirement of a huge populated country like india because 135 crore people's data is not a very very blunder one because our country requires a such a strong security system that protects our data so i think in my opinion this website must be included in our country's security and data management so here is my explanation thank you very much jai hind vande mataram